mira, 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 mira. La puta madre. La pica, la pica se la carga también. Hostia. Hostia. Tornado, eh. Imagine the night sky turning to day. Not once, not twice, but over 20,000 times in a single night. In a rare and terrifying weather event, southern Spain has been gripped by an electric storm of biblical proportions, turning quiet streets into rivers, smashing cars under golf ball-sized hail, and flooding cities across Andalusia and Valencia. But this isn't just one intense storm. Experts warn, it's far from over. How did this all start? And what lies ahead for these hard-hit regions? This unprecedented event was triggered by what meteorologists call a DANA, a depression isolata in Nivelles Altos, which translates to a high-altitude isolated depression. La puerta de la bodega se ha abierto de la presión del agua y está entrando toda el agua en la bodega. Madre mía. Qué miedo a mí. Esto ya no me hace gracia, ¿eh? Dana systems are notorious in Spain for creating heavy, relentless rains and sudden drops in temperature. When these storm cells hover over regions like Andalusia, with their hot Mediterranean air, the result is explosive. A storm that can last for days, showering regions with intense lightning, hail, and floods. Since Monday night, the Dana has turned cities across southern Spain into lightning battlegrounds. Málaga alone saw over 20,000 lightning strikes in a single night. Enough to disrupt flights, damage infrastructure, and even collapse traffic in the heart of the city. Residents in Malaga will remember this night as a sleepless one. The skies were constantly alight, with bolts flashing faster than the eye could blink. And it wasn't just a light show. The storm's effects were immediate and far-reaching. The unrelenting lightning strikes delayed flights at Malaga Airport, grounding passengers and disrupting schedules. In the city, flooded streets brought traffic to a standstill. People were stuck in their cars, waiting for the water to subside, while emergency vehicles struggled to navigate what had become a submerged road network. The powerful Guadalhorce River surged dangerously high, prompting red alerts in nearby towns like Alora and Cartama. There, the streets had transformed into rivers, with cars helplessly bobbing along in the powerful currents. As the storm raged on, it became clear that lightning wasn't the only thing Spain would have to worry about. In El Ejido, Andalusia, residents woke up to scenes of carnage as hailstones the size of golf balls hammered down.
breaking car windows, damaging property, and flooding roads. Meanwhile, Valencia found itself under a red alert as rains pounded the coast, raising the water levels by over 180 millimeters in just hours. Streets in Gandia, Culera, and Alzira were submerged, prompting local officials to block major highways and suspend train routes. Schools across the region closed, and authorities recommended suspending all outdoor activities to keep children and residents safe. Public spaces, from parks to cemeteries, were shut down. By the early hours of Tuesday, Valencia City Council had enacted emergency measures to limit the public's exposure to dangerous conditions. Schools in over 20 municipalities were closed, and even university campuses were shuttered. <laughs> Se ha roto el puente, se ha roto el puente, se está inundando todo. Se nos va a inundar la casa también, me voy para abajo. Mirar todo. Todo, todo. Todo inundado. Y ha abierto la puerta de la... Port closures around Valencia and Sagunta kept maritime traffic at bay. While on land, firefighters were dispatched to rescue residents in flooded neighborhoods. One particularly tense scene unfolded in Ribera Alta, where residents watched as water entered their homes, dragging parked cars down the streets. Local firefighters were called in to help, with one high-profile rescue involving a stranded lorry driver stuck in the rising waters. Towns across the region, including Tu, Lombay, and Catadaw, faced similar challenges as streets became rivers and access routes were cut off. For many British tourists who flock to Spain's Costa del Sol to escape gloomy weather, this storm is unlike anything they've experienced. One weather expert described it as absolutely unusual, warning that travelers expecting sunshine might be in for a prolonged stretch of torrential rain and flooding. British authorities issued travel warnings, urging travelers to monitor conditions and prepare for extended delays. <laughs>
a desbordar que entra el guarazo. Flights into holiday hotspots like Malaga faced cancellations and rerouted schedules. And as for the roads, tourists who rented cars struggled to navigate flooded streets and hail-strewn highways. As if this wasn't enough, experts warn that Dana may linger. With moisture and warm air fueling this massive low-pressure system, weather forecasters predict more storms, hail, and rain for at least another week. This means Valencia, Andalusia, and other parts of southern Spain will likely continue to see high alerts, with red warnings indicating extreme risk and orange warnings indicating significant risk. For the cities already reeling, this could spell trouble. Infrastructure pushed to its limit, homes already damaged by floods, and vehicles destroyed by hail may continue to bear the brunt of Dana's relentless force. As the storm clouds linger, questions about climate and the future of Spain's weather come to mind. Is this the new normal for Spain? Can cities like Malaga, Valencia, and Almeria expect these brutal storms each year? Or is this a freak anomaly, an isolated storm that will soon pass? We'll be keeping an eye on Dana as it continues its march across Spain. But one thing is clear. For those who live through this storm, it's a night they won't soon forget.